darkness envelops Desmond Hall, a star shines in the sky, pulsating like a human heart, but bringing evil to Jean-Paul Desmond. And though the curtains of night envelop the ancient mansion, neither secrecy nor night can conceal the torments within Desmond Hall. For Jean-Paul has turned on the young woman he has sworn to protect, and he is powerless to disobey the evil signals that tells him to kill. downstairs I couldn't sleep. Holly, I will help you to sleep. Come, come along to your room. Sleep. You must rest, rest now, and I promise you, I will do my best to see that you get the peace that you seek. You're so nice to me, and you always are, aren't you? to talk to you before I went to sleep. Yes, Erica. Helena, Jean-Paul, you must teach this young girl to remember who I am. Although I know you are fond of Erica. You don't want to hear this girl-to-girl -girl talk. I know how boring it can be for a man. No. Leave us alone, Jean-Paul. We'll see you in the morning. Sweet. I worry about him, I really do. Helena, what was it you wanted to talk about? Nothing, really. Everything's all right. It's quite all right. Come, we'll talk in the morning. You're tired. Now sleep. Good night. And if you want anything, you will call me, won't you? Yes, I will. So kind, so sweet. 
You see, Philip, there are other men as attractive as you are. Only they have the advantage of being real flesh and blood men. John Paul does find me attractive. He does like me. He really does. Do you know? He really does. I was detained talking to Mrs. Hatter. Master, I warned you of the danger. Yes. But the danger is almost ended. Soon everyone will know my secret. Everyone will know the curse. And then... there will be a punishment which is meant for murderers. let that happen. They will not touch you. I will give my life before... Axel, you are a good and faithful servant. But a servant needs somebody to devote a life to. I'm not worthy. You are a Desmond, and I have always served the Desmonds. I am a powerless murderer. You are a good man. Consumed by forces over which you have no control. Raxi, just now, I stood behind Holly, my hands reaching for her throat. I could kill, I could have choked her. And then, Helena Raleigh came into the room. She saw you? Yes, and she made me see myself. Attacking a girl that I promised to protect. She saved Holly's life. She witnessed your secret? Joe Paul. My master is very weary, Miss Raleigh. What is it you want? To talk to him. To assure him that I am his friend. You know that, don't you, Jean-Paul? I'm devoted to you and to your secrets. Raxel is right. I'm very tired, I, I think. Well, Jean-Paul, awake at this hour? Raxel, I thought you'd gone to pack Miss Blair's things. And uh, who is this charming young lady? I am Helena Raleigh. How do you do? Irene Hatter, since uh, Jean-Paul is too uh, weary to perform the introductions. Raxel, would you go and pack Miss Blair's things? Master. I'm all right, I'm all right. I tell you, I'm all right. Such devotion. I find it very touching. Master, the sky is empty. Thank you, Rexel. It provides weather reports, too. I'll say good night to Miss Emily. Well, Miss Raleigh, I've seen your posters in Desmonton, but uh, I've never been fortunate enough to see you on stage. I've retired from the theater, Miss Satter. Oh, how unfortunate for me. But how fortunate for me. After all, the applause of an audience can't equal the charms and comforts of Desmond Hall. Oh. You're staying here, then? Indefinitely. I see. No, I don't think you do. You've retired, and you're staying as a guest of Jean Paul. And a very charming guest, I might add. Uh, you light up the old house. I thank you. One thing I don't understand. Your plans. What are your plans, Miss Raleigh? My plans? I plan, my dear Mrs. Hatter, to become mistress of Desmond Hall. 